choose to go on reality TV, become influencers and build brands, right? Now, this is a real good conversation. This is interesting, right? It's a real conversation, okay? A real conversation, all right? All right? Because someone could say that Savannah is in a better place because her man pays all the bills. She just gets to be a mum. Savannah's only in a better place if she has no desire to be anything more than the great mom she is and a great wife. Right? This is why I said there are certain women that I give exceptions to because their destiny is not to be a great housewife and a great mom. Their destiny is to be something greater outside of the four walls of their house. Savannah's comfortable being that person. That's great. She likes that. She wants to just be a housewife and a mom. She's comfortable there. Right? She's comfortable there. Right? And 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 by all means, anything that LeBron has done, it, I, you know, I don't think he's cheated on anything, or I hope he hasn't cheated, but you know what? Even if he has cheated, listen, he's done it very quietly. He's not brought embarrassment to her door. You know, he hasn't done anything mad like that out there, right? So let's just say he's, he's faithful for now. So let me not say that because he hasn't, he hasn't cheated or anything like that. You know, I have a feeling that, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I heard some rumblings in the jungle, but you know what I mean? It stays, it stays quiet, right? Uh, you know, so, you know, uh, I hear rumbles in the jungle um, and some rumbles underneath the surface, you guys know. But LeBron James doesn't bring embarrassment yet to her door. Okay? All right? Yet to her door. So, of course, being the housewife and being the mum has paid off. It's worked. Do you know what? It looks like she's chosen the better path. The reality is two factors here. He ain't embarrassed her, number one. He ain't brought shit to her door. He hasn't replaced her with another woman. He's kept her real loyal. Number two, the other aspect is, does she have aspirations to be anything more? That's the real question. See, what feminism fought for wasn't that so women can leave the kitchen and leave wife role. No, feminism fought for so they could enter the workforce if they wanted to, if they chose to, if they chose to be more. That is what they fought for, the original wave, not the one that's now. This fourth wave is a bit mad, so, you know, this fourth wave is a bit crazy, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, but the reality, the reality of the situation is, right, that for uh for 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 savannah she's living what she wanted to live now for gabrielle union her emphasis is not just to be a mom and to be just somebody who is a housewife and biblically we see this too there are women out there too who did not just want to be a housewife or just a wife right and there's some that did okay when we look at someone like deborah in the bible when we look at uh, uh, the woman that did the uh, woman that preached alongside her husband, I can't remember her name now. Is it Priscilla? Also, too, you know, um, you know. And when you see the, the women of Suzanne um, and uh, Mary Magdalene, those who supported uh, Jesus, you know, their their role wasn't just to be a wife or man. I mean, to be fair, Suzanne. I mean, Suzanne was a wife, but she supported Jesus' ministry. Uh, Mary Magdalene was. She was a who, but she changed by the Lord's grace. Thank God. Um, you know. So, uh, you know, uh, you know the, the reality of the situation is that uh, there are a unique set of women, I would like to call them. There are few. There are quite a few of women who do not want to be just women. In fact, had she just... Look, would feminism be as far as it is now if people chose what Savannah chose? Just kept quiet and lived there with Savannah's living off the, the Savannah's living off the, the work of other women deciding that they are going to risk their life and be sacrificed to be in a position where they're different to what she is. We are not in a position to judge it in that particular way because depending on what your desires are, this is very important. Okay. Gabrielle Union is somebody who loves acting, loves the pursuit of business, being an advocate for other people. So therefore, her her thing is not just to be a mother or a, a stepmom. It is to be beyond. Okay? It's to be beyond. Okay? Did I say it condescendingly? Oh, did I phrase it condescendingly? I didn't mean to condescend. condescend. I meant to say it in a way that, listen... I'm saying I'm saying that the Savannah has the ability to rest in her position because other women decided to sacrifice their life. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? 
So we can't make it that Savannah's better than 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 Gabby because she chose a different path. What I'm saying is Savannah gets to rest in that position and choose to rest in it. It's a choice now. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a. You have to, and she gets to do that because other women who decided they're gonna break the mold, she gets to do that. That's what I'm saying. That's the reality of life. You wouldn't have a choice if some women didn't choose to do this. So I praise the woman that tried, who decided that. You know what? Um, you say it condescending when she said she wants something beyond her husband's shadow. Huh? You say you say it condescendingly when you say she wants to, to be something beyond her. No, there's nothing condescending. Why? Why would that be condescending? I actually appreciate Gabby for doing that. Why, where's the condescending behind that? I actually appreciate Gabby and people like Gabby who decide to fight. I appreciate that. This is why I did a video yesterday and I said I didn't want to kill her because I actually appreciate advocators. Because had she... Let's let's give another example, right? When Terry Crews came out, and by the way, this is why I, don't rate, this is why I didn't rate Terry Crews for what he did. When Terry Crews came out and said, I've been touched, when Gabby came out, she defended him straight away. She was advocating for him. She, hey, I, I got your back. When it was her time, did he did he do the exact same thing for her? He didn't do the exact same thing for her. He didn't. I appreciate Gabby in certain things because of the way that she advocates. Right? The way she advocates. So what I'm saying is that had it not been for people like Gabby who said, I'm not just going to stay in the kitchen and be a mom and be a, 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 a you know, a, and be the traditional role. And I'm going to say, no. I'm going to be more than that. Right? I'm going to be more than that. No, I'm going to be more than that. I want to do more. I want to be outside the four walls. I want to do this. I want to do that. Had it not been for that, Savannah doesn't get a choice. That's the point I'm making. Right? So we don't get to make Savannah being a better choice. She's not a better choice. She's a choice that she can choose to do. Right? Because she wouldn't have had this choice if other women didn't decide to fight. That's what I'm trying to make the point very, very clear and make it very evident. That some people get to choose this role now. Choose it. Right? Not out of necessity now. Now out of choice. Do you get what I'm saying to you? I, I, I did ask the question, bro. I really did. I said, does she want anything more than this? If she doesn't want anything more than it, then she's at her premium. She's living her best life. But if she wants more than her being just a wife and being someone's husband, I mean, someone's, sorry, someone being someone's wife and someone's mom ain't going to be enough for her. But if she has a desire just to be that place, then she's living her best life. She's doing what she wants to do. That is not what I'm saying. And you know, that's not what I'm saying at all. That is not what I'm saying as well. Because that is, that, that is definitely not what I said. If she, it, that is not the way, in, in, and the tone of what I'm saying is, right? When I say she just wants to be a wife and she just wants to be a mom, if that's her actual desire, just to be a wife and a mom, then she's living her best life. Context of how I said it and tone is also important. Come on now. Come on, Lindley. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't do me dirty now. Okay. All right. Don't do me dirty now. Come on now. Because let me, let me bring, bring, let's bring the evidence. Because this is what I was going on, right? LeBron James' wife, Savannah, says she just wanted to focus on being a what? A great mom and supporting her husband. What am I saying outside of what has been said already? Come on now. Come on. I, I appreciate Lyndon, but this is not what I was saying. I'm going by what's also being said because it's a topic about Savannah versus Gabrielle. And I'm saying that people can't put Savannah on a, on a pedestal because she gets to choose because some people like to do that. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. No, that's not beef. It's not beef. You know, I, you know, I, I know you're challenging me to try and just make sure. So there's no beef. I just wanted to make sure I made it very clear. You know what I mean? There's no beef. I got you, babe. No problem. You know I mean, no beef. Um, yeah. So no. So I, I. So for me personally, it's like I see two, two. Po I see two opposites, and I see two different things. And I see that Savannah has chosen her portion. That's her portion. And Gabrielle's like, no, I've chosen my portion. Now, I would, I would, I would hope that you know Gabrielle can, if she feels com she can get to a place where she's comfortable to allow Dwayne Way to do it. Um, that's from my personal perspective. I think that's in that. Um, uh, you know, so 
Uh, but, um, you know, yeah, yeah, it'd be like that. So, yeah, if Savannah wants more now, if she wants to do, if she wants to do more, and she chooses to do more, then different role, isn't it, right? But she chose for this part, portion of her life to say, hey, for now, I want to be the mum and the wife. That's it. And I said, by the grace of God, you know what I mean? It'd be like that. Y'all hear Aisha Curry talking about 50-50. Yeah, well, we don't hear that. Yeah. And I think but, but I think Aisha Curry's situation also is quite unique in her in her situation because with Steph Curry, they met when they were very, very young. And Steph Curry comes from a, a basketball institutional family. He ain't broke and never been broke. He ain't come from the trenches. You know? He ain't come from the trenches. And that's also very true, Fruits Doma. That's very true. Yeah. That's very true. And this is a conversation, Logan, as well, because this is also another conversation in terms of the fact that this can also be very difficult. Um, it can be very, very difficult. Um, because, you know, one of the things that happened with Aisha Curry, and what is what people we talk about as well. Uh, you know, someone said it, but it's just, <laughs> uh, you know, but yeah, no, um, it 